So Rex Herman seems to have a pen pal named Keith Jesperson. So if that name doesn't sound familiar to you, well, probably if you heard the name Happy Face Killer, then you'd know exactly who I'm talking about. So let's listen to the video and then we will get into the letter. Uh, like I try to explain to other killers that are regional, uh, are arrested, and I write to them, I tell them how the system works. Mm -hmm. I said, the system is, uh, when you're dealing with serial crime, there's a difference in with a single murder, <coughs> that you're, you're opening yourself up for litigation all across the board. You don't have no say in the matter. It just continues and continues and continues. So I always try to tell people to own it. Just, just admit you, 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 you're caught. The only way you're caught, if you're arrested, means that the prosecutor has enough evidence to take you to court and prove you guilty. They wouldn't have arrested him if they did, right? right. Yeah. So I, I recently got a letter from uh, Rex Hewerman from the Long Island serial killer, and I had admit, I had told him the same thing. And he wrote me back so well, you know, take it under advice. <laughs> <laughs> So Happy Face Killer shares letter. He says accused Gilgo Beach serial murderer Rex Herman sent to him from jail moaning about dry bread and gloomy exercise yard. So he was a truck driver who got the nickname the Happy Face Killer after taking the lives of eight women and has become pen pals with accused Gilgo Beach serial killer Rex Hewerman. Now Keith Jesperson, now 68, was given multiple life sentences in 1995 and from his Oregon cell now writes to others behind bars. Jesperson wrote to Hewerman, 58, in his Long Island jail and on August 31st Hewerman, awaiting trial for the murder of three sex workers, wrote back. Now, this is the letter that Rex Hewerman wrote to Keith Jesperson. Keith, first off, I would like to say thank you for your letters and advice. They have been a help and comfort to me. I do understand what you have said and taken it to heart. Being only a month and a half into this, as you know, I have had a lot to think about. Right now, I need to get a few things in order which my lawyers are working on. You are right about letters. I have gotten a number of them asking for interviews, to be friends, pen pals, and one guy even sent me three letters asking me to write back to add to his collection of letters. You are the only person who I have written back to and plan to write back to. I know I have gotten into great detail. I am not sure if my mail is not being read. I did have one officer make a comment to me that he knew you were writing to me. So it sounds like OSP is not such a bad place to be. Do you have butter for your bread? How is the day-to-day -day food? I will admit the food here is not much to look forward to each day. Also, Yard is just walking in circles outside. I do understand what you have told me and that timing is important with this process. I am working out the timing. The next court date is September 27th. As I understand it, that is just a conference court date, so I do not expect much to happen. I have not even seen the discovery yet at this point. I'm sorry it took so long to write back to you. I know I should have done it sooner. The main thing I wanted to say was thank you to you and yours for the letters and what has been done for me and mine. Thank you for watching. If you could please hit that like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys so much and please leave a comment in the comment section of this video.